Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Uh, in the last video, we went through most of the nursing home, uh, but we haven't visited the third floor or the basement, and we also need to go next door to... Well, okay, that's not the transition I was hoping for, but there's a wellness center next door that we need to go to. So, just so you know, that's the plan. All uh, right, where's the stairs? The stairs are back here. Now, before we do that, there's a couple of, um... Actually, there's a hand flare there, a hand flare there. Do I want to pick up hand flares? Might, I might get some handgun ammo downstairs real quick. Before I go to the third floor, we had an encounter with an evil old woman named Cynthia. I actually don't know if she, I, is she evil? I actually don't know if she's evil or not, but she was, uh, she said something really cryptic and, uh, awful to us. Actually, what, what did she even say to us? I can't remember what she said, but I do remember that she jump scared you, us. Uh, and for that, go watch the deer fest we can't forget parade. her. And sit in a crowd of Where is it? Oh. I'd Where, where's the knitting needle in my ear? Oh, it's here. Okay. Okay, now we have a new conversation here. Uh I know Tor's in the wellness center. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? Yeah. No. He's well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. Ooh. It's just, there's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thanks, Thank you, I'll Rose. go later. I gotta go to the third floor. Thanks. I gotta go to the third floor first, but... Thank you. The wellness center. We can go back to our, our mind, uh place soon. Wait, what is this? Oh. They got like pocket doors. That's cool. I don't know what those are actually. What are those actually called? Ooh, can we go down to the basement? Wait. This is out of order. Oh, that, that goes along the side here. My bad. I thought it was like a lift that went down. That's not what happened. Mandy Mays room. Let's go in. She's not even here. <laughs> Let's look. It's really weird that they have ammunition in the drawers of their uh, dresser. Just wanted to point that out. I feel like somebody should get a handle on that. Somebody should do something. Now this is a nameless room with a spiral symbol on it. Okay, wait, who's, whose room is that that I just tried to go into? Ati's room. Okay, well, we can go to Cynthia and Norman's house. House, their room. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, and, well, Norman's room, kind of boring. Riddles through the ages. Note to self. Hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. Better than any actual lock. Hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. To get to the otter side, 250 otter this world puns to help your conversations go swimmingly. Don't like that. Mmm, we can't go to Gail's room. Alright, and Cynthia's room need the key as well. Alright, let's go in here. Let me in. Getting in is forbidden. Oh. For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Okay. Well, uh, you want to let me into your room? That's your room right there. Okay. Well, I, I don't have to go in there. That's totally fine. Okay, let's go to the wellness center, actually. I thought that was going to take more time, but, um... So, how do you get into the basement? Oh, it's by the wellness center. Oh, that's how you go in. Okay. Well, I will do that. 
Apparently Pat has some crossbow bolts though in there. Is that did I read that right? Or are you done? The authorities they, they searched the bunker. And he's te he's T-posing. Poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. Okay, he's supposed to be sitting in the in the chair, obviously. Obviously, we're just gonna they still hear her singing We're gonna just let that one go. You understand me, guys? Uh, let's move this. And, um, yeah, flares. I've just got, I've got so many flares that I don't really need. I'm going to pick up some more of those arrows and then we're gone. We're ghosts after this. Just ignore the T-posing. Okay. You don't need... Okay, well. You don't need to point it out. We all see it. Just the humming of a Okay. Old age is a state of mind. I don't know if I would hang that up in the nursing home. Watch out. Her puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Why? Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Seriously. So supposedly the basement is here. Do you go outside? Outside to the basement? Well... I can go out this way. Can I get to it? Oh, we've got to go out that way. Well, we can figure that out, I right? Bolt cutters. No, bolt cutters. <laughs> Maybe we can get bolt cutters in here. All right, Silent Hill. How big is this place? Okay, it's not that bad. It wants us to go to the security room first. So is this place like dark? Empty. God. Okay, it's Silent Saga. Hill. Looks kind of more like alien isolation a bit. Oh, this is wait. This is like a safe haven. That means that there's enemies here. Oh. Oh, there's an arrow in the medical box. Mixed messaging there. Hello? I've got Poor? so much ammo. It's Saga Anderson. Can't get in there. Don't have, don't have the key for it. Watch out for puddles, she said. Why are you guys putting flares and arrows in these things? Hmm. Someone in here? Hello? Do you want me to read? Manuscript? We put an Alan Wake manuscript in here. Let's have him read it. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl Don't baby had cast me. a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Okay. All right, I need to use up some of my ammo. Any volunteers? Anybody want to get shot? Huh? Huh? Okay, so this is safe right here. Doc. Ooh. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? 
Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on floor by foam. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. VB. VB. Who do we know with the initials VB? My brain not working so good right now, so I don't know, but I'm sure I'll come to the re realization later. So, Must interestingly... Cynthia. I think Cynthia, you know, now that I've seen her, I think she's the one that drowned in the bathtub in the Ocean View Hotel. Am I getting it right? Am I right so far? Okay, so we've done most of that. Let's see. We can check this and that, and then we can go to rehabilitation. Because she looks like the lady that was in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Lots of safe rooms so far. Shoebox. Uh, you know, I'll put this in here. And I'll quick slot this. There we go. Now we're good. Actually, I kind of want to... I'm going to organize my inventory real quick. I haven't really felt the need to do this yet. Uh, like Ari style uh, inventory. But. There we go. I just want to put my guns at the top. That's it. That's all I want to do. Okay. Now I feel, I feel better. Okay, we'll quick save there. And, um... Looks like we're gearing up for a fight because we've got tons of ammo. Tor, wait! Cynthia it's Baby. Me. Cynthia Baby. Okay, should we just go for it? Yeah, maybe we'll just we'll, we'll go after him. Oh, come on! An electric no, it's lock. Not. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Hmm, we gotta figure out how to get past these these locks. Did you hear that? I heard water. I think there's enemies around now. I think there wasn't before, but there is now. Right, I opened up a shortcut there. They're really letting me just explore the whole thing with no enemies. But we know there's going to be some. It's giving me tons of safety. Oh my god, four pink donuts. you got to be kidding me. We got the quadra. The quad donut. Okay, it's storming outside. Um, okay, this isn't really giving us anything. I'm really disappointed. Very little loot here. A security computer. Uh huh. Here's where shit hits the fan, though. Uh, certainly. Vladimir Blom. You have been accepted in the. Oh, this is VB. Into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and will be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the next, or the day after the next new moon. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Well, that makes sense. They can't help themselves. They gotta be leaders. Yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense. Here, let's go to the cult right now. So that means that Ilmo and Yako are are both uh, both in it for sure. There we go. Yako and Ilmo are running the cults. Now, what about Rose though? 
Now this introduces a new character, Vladimir Blum. Confirmed cult member. Right. However, we don't know... We don't know, um... Who they are. We haven't met them. I don't think we have anyway. Have we met them? <gasps> Doggy! Day, then month. He uses European formatting. I mean, that makes sense. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Dosvidania to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and airing to celebrate. Herring, I guess. Sorry. This month, everything will change. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. It smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Wow, so much glory here. Oh, bad day. This is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Old people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. Have we met Vlad? I don't think we have. Have we? May 5th. Oh, it's going to make me... It's going to make me do this. Okay, full moon... New moon, June 17th. So 17-6. If we use European formatting, that's going to be the code for something. Because... Well... Okay, wait. Because that's when he was added to the cult of the tree, right? Oh, wait. Not necessarily. Hang on, let me look. Uh, is it this? Yeah, it just says... Ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon. And then we know that he uses European formatting. So, this is circled. The day after the next new moon right there. That's the 17th. 17-8? Yeah. Let's try that. 17-8. I assume this is going to be the passcode. Needs a password. Uh, and a warrant, oh. technically. But hey, desperate times. Wait, well, 17, 8, what? Let's take a look at this again. 2023. Hmm. But then there's gotta be another one. Okay. 1708 23 ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Easy Easy breezy doors are open. Okay, so we've opened all the doors and then now Here's where it gets exciting. What? Hunting rifle? We gotta go back for that. I want that hunting rifle. There's also the staff lounge. This door needs a knob. You gotta be kidding me! Silent Hill! We gotta get a doorknob to go in there and get the hunting rifle? I want that. <laughs> um... Now this is open now, right? Is there a doorknob in here? I mean, Tor. Whatever. We can help him later. He's not going anywhere. Right? You got any doorknobs? Ugh. Ah, literally doorknob. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's, that's it. I'm going there right now. Tor, you're gonna have to wait. We've got a hunting rifle that we need to get. <laughs> Manuscript? Oh god. Another doggy. Look at the doggy. Okay. Alan, let us know what's going on. Return seven. Summoning. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its lights shining in the night. 
They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up in a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only okay, shoot so the they do. if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The so they do want to kill Alan. Back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. <laughs> so why is this return seven? Because they attacked the lodge in return four. Did they not? Oh, you... How dare you. <gasps> Hi there, little friend. I'm missing two. Still. I might have missed them early on in the game. Okay. <sighs> I gotta go back to the shoebox. Where's the shoebox? Oh my gosh, it's all the way over here. All right, all right. Well, there's a container there. Let's go this way. We just got too much ammo. We've opened that door, right? Oh. I actually thought that we were going to have more issues. Um, let's see. Move these here. You know what I want to do now. Now that we've got the hunting rifle, let's just get rid of the arrows. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he's crazy. Why is he doing this? Okay. Now I'm going to go back and get the hunting rifle. I'm just really excited about it. A lot guns. Now, is there anywhere else in here that I haven't gone? Well, there's a container there. There's a container here in the office. Let me get those real quick. I love mini maps. Oh my gosh, they gave me more of these. Arrows that I don't want. And... Wow, I'm getting so much loot. It's almost like... I should stop Shit. looking. Whoa, what the hell? I like this guy. Fuck. Huh. Restless dreams. All right, Silent Hill. What's happening? How about that? Finally get him. Sorry, I killed you. He said restless dreams. We'll go in there in a second. I've got to get my hunting rifle. Okay, here we go. This is what it's all about. Although, I've got some ammo that I still need to get too for this gun. What? Oh, it's just, it's fine, it's fine. We just need to move some stuff out of the way. Like, for example, this stuff. Okay, now we can get it. Yeah! Okay, and if we want to quick slot this, let's quick slot it here. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes! This is fun. Have I been in here? I have. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna go through the room in here. So that guy was, um... I'm not gonna say he was, like, kinda tough, but... He took a lot of bullets. That's for sure. I'm gonna keep the hunting rifle out. Alright, here we go, we got this. We've done it. Now what? Need to catch up with Tor. Well, where is he? Caution, maintenance in progress. All right. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You should really be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you like. I can make you a cup if you want. Oh, Vlad, he's playing his hand. Lost and found. Mittens, homemade, a notebook full of daily meal plans, a nice fountain pen, an antique hair clipped. Very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. You know, it seems like everyone surrounding Rose is in the cult, so it would make sense that she's also in the cult. This must have been Tors. What the? Oh, his hammer? His claw hammer? Oh, jeez. Is there actually food out here? <gasps> the pink donuts. The pastries, the pies. Oh. All right, Cynthia, calm down. He had it coming. What are you talking about? We're going outside. Is everything okay out there? None of these lockers open up, which is kind of annoying. Here we go. Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute! That water is bad for you! Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you! This kind of behavior is not okay! Another overlap, right? <laughs> Look at Rose. She's just like, I guess I'll just sit down. Talk to Rose. Do we have to? I don't want to. Do we have to? Hi, Rose. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Yeah, are we about to profile her? I've been waiting for this. We're gonna profile you. You don't even know what that means, but trust me, <laughs> you don't want it. Okay. You know I what? It's been cutters. it's been cute up to this point, but I'm gonna need those bolt cutters. Stat. Are they in the basement? We can go in the basement now. I think we're in the right area. Look, it's open. That means the basement's over here. Is it open? It is. Oh my god. Okay, and it's flooded. So that's probably where we're gonna learn that we have to go when we profile. So, okay. Wait, wait. How many of these we have left? I think it's two. Two remaining. Yeah. I thought so. I keep track of my collectibles. Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. 
Nah. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. I see. What about Cynthia? Cynthia took Tor. Right. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? The lamp lady? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Okay, let's go talk to her real quick. Oh, oh, before we go into the uh, basement, because that's where we're, that's where we're going to have to go. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh, my God. You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Tor and Gale in there after they lost it, and... Gale? I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that we could do this. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Well, hey, wait. I want to go down here. How, how many rooms are down here in the basement? Not that many. We can go down here, right? I mean, I know it's all flooded, but... Oh, my God. Ah, stop doing that. Use your key fob. Bolt cutters. Where are they? You know, you know we got bolt cutters in here. You know it. Uh, do I want the flare? I'm going to leave the flare there. Okay. Bunch of old gods of Asgard stuff. There's a... Uh, remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. VB. Manuscript page? Seems like it. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer. Oh, who would that Wake. be? Wake had various addictions on his back. An on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. <laughs> wow. I know we've got some profiling to do, but we can do that in just a moment. Well, we've got fuses. Shoebox, quick save. Um, holy hell. I'll quick save. Another arrow? Can't be opened on this side. Really? Can't go to the laundry room or storage. Huh. Oh wait, there's something, there's a point of interest right there. I think I missed that. Is it right here? Oh, is it just this?
Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Why would that be a point of interest? Can you use the valve or... Um... Okay. I guess we're... I guess we're out of here. Is that open? Oh. Another manuscript page. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, oh, wow. touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Sorry, who is this? Who are we talking about? All right, let's uh, let's do some profiling, actually. No, sorry, profiling? On Odin, I guess. Let's ask Odin what he thinks about the record. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Your mother's Freya? Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. <laughs> okay. The record is in the museum. Right. Well, let's go get it. Hang on. One of the... Did I never listen to this one? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. Oh, I never did. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Wait, no, but we listened to part of it. Standing there, Saga felt exposed, expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking uh -huh. into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor, a way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. I feel like everything in this game, and I realize that this is partially my fault, okay, so... Don't get it twisted, all right? But I feel like everything in this game takes about like three times as long as it should to do. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's so the workplace behind us. Rose, spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Code is in the laundry room. Is that here? Oh, well, we can't go in there yet. It's locked. How do I get in there? Hey, look. Wait. Am I seeing things? Oh, no, it you can't open it. Budge. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. Oh, this goes back there. Can this open? 
No, it cannot. It only goes this way. Is this something they watch on movie night? We'll get the projector down. That looks just like Casey. What Does the hell it? is going on? I don't see anything. I guess I'm supposed to be seeing it. I should have brought the projector screen down first. Um, well, that's kind of annoying. Oh, what's the code? House of Zane, renowned filmmaker establishes Artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane and his partner Barbara Jagger have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased an old, the old manor house outside town. That's where we're in right now, and the couple's already settled in. In his home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and uh, respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star, already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman, really. His earlier film, Nightless Night, <laughs> I hate that name, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the age of with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. Hey, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Can you can you have the the can you have it go down? I can't watch it again. It played a thing, but now I can't watch it. And it, and it had like the music, like it was playing. That sucks. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. We can open that. Now, do I have to listen to the whole thing? Cynthia Weaver hated being old. I guess you do. She'd been a I don't doer, know why I play some of it. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it. Outstanding Cynthia voice said. acting as always. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. A voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down. She was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Hmm. You okay? Code is 273. Rose, if you see this. Please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone and think they hate me. Two, seven, three. Got it, I guess? Okay, we're definitely gonna see somebody on the way back. Come on. No? We're not? Are you sure? 
two, seven, three. Okay, we got a fuse. A fuse. However, however could come in handy. Yeah, it could eventually. I I wonder if like we broke sequence. And we're not really supposed to be here yet. I wonder if I wonder if I made a mistake. <laughs> like I shouldn't have come into the basement yet. I don't know. I don't know. Here, we'll go do the record thing, because yeah, I think I might have done this out of sequence. Oopsie. I feel kinda bad about that, but not really. Um, okay, let's go back inside. Okay. Did they go out front? Thought so somebody come out front, no? Oh. Hey guys. See Muster Point. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Odin? Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Your name's Norman MacDonald. Interesting. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Interesting. Oh. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Your name's Norman McDonald. Uh, R.I.P. Norm McDonald. The real one, not that one. Oh! There's more ammo right there. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, um... I guess we're gonna... I guess we're gonna explore. Now, there's a few places I can go that I haven't been to before. Um, mostly on the third floor. Apparently, Ati's up there. Uh, Gail's room, Cynthia's room, and Ati's room I can all go to. And there's also the locked the museum. Right. Okay. So let's go upstairs. Oh. Manuscript page? He's been leaving so many of these around. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed. We gotta get him out of there. His vision hazy, smudged, 
He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. That's me. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Well, you know... Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. It's interesting that they are brothers because isn't isn't in the mythology Odin the father of Thor or Thor, I suppose. I'm coming. I'm coming. You okay? I know you're not. Are we just gonna leave him in here? There's no option to do anything. <laughs> Donna's room. Oh, there's a flare. Do I even want that? No, I don't. You can keep the flare of Donna. It's on the house. Um, should we go in here first, I guess? Yeah. Crashed hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the Old Gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. Old Gods of Asgard band member dead. Oh no, Bob Balder. Balder's in Valhalla now. He fought cancer. Wow. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul. Muses Old Gods of Asgard's lead singer. Interesting. Where's the record, though? Oh, it's right here. Anger's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Okay, let's go to the profiling. Oh! Oh! Man, we gotta talk to Odin, too. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. Bro. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Scratching hand. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. All right. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Okay. <laughs> Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken roll bleeds in. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. <laughs> I love it when they make you ask the same question twice. It's happened a, a few times while profiling. Anga's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short, she screamed. An old folks care home. There it is. Bianca's remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. I'm glad we could figure that out somehow. 
Can I go to my case board? I love that you can't sprint in here. It's just like, yeah, you want to sprint too bad. Uh, Harrison Brothers. Well, is it is it under facts versus fiction? Mom moved away with me because of Tor. Why did mom leave? What did Tor do to make mom leave? I like how we're getting into other people's Shouldn't business. Spend time on old questions. Oh, whoa! It's just like, let me just fill in this for you. The computer password. Oh, this is old stuff. Don't need to go over all this again. Well, look. <laughs> you did too good. You did too well at this. Well. Not taken. Dark presence manipulating him, destroying him, into the pond. Into the pond. Right. That's it's the one that we're currently on. Lap. Has to be. Well, yeah. How do I get inside? Well, yes. Oh, well, now we've got a bunch of stuff to put down. Okay, Cynthia seduced Tor to keep him away from me. Very selfish of you to think like that. Cynthia wanted the record. Tor would have done anything, she said. If Tor gave the record to Cynthia, she's the only one who can tell me where it is. Oh, did you see that? The only one who can tell me where it is? You misspelled something. That's wrong. So I got jab the selector. I need to play a record to open the overlap in the ritual. I should talk to Odin. Wake told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone else. All right. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the uh, page what? predetermining it? Sometimes I'm like, Am I well, why? Into the story? Sometimes I'm like, well, why don't you want to like zip through this and be like, yeah, yeah, no need to go over old cases. Let's go, let's go. Because we did this one too. I guess because it's closer to what we're actually actively investigating. Okay. Cynthia tried to drown the record in her bathtub. Is that really what she did? A record is missing. Yeah, well, we already know that. There's only one copy of the record. Okay. Well, we're all caught up a on bathtub, that. A bathtub. A pond. A lake. There's a theme here. Yeah, there sure is. I noticed that too. I was literally actually about to comment on that. But, uh, yeah, we're not done just yet. Okay, let's go this way. Upstairs. We gotta go to Cynthia's room, get the record. I wanna shoot something with my hunting rifle. Let's go to Ati's room. Hey, Ati! Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was yeah, nice one room, of man. Them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom liked to talk. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Hey, you got any ammo or anything? Oh my gosh. You know what? I'll just take the med kit. Earn that. Hey, you need to update your clock, Ati. It says zero, zero, zero. Did you notice that? Nice Marlin. Okay. We'll go in there in a moment. Oh. Gail. Oh wait, she puts Gail in the wellness center, right? Rose did. So that means that she's not in here, actually. Oh, she has a manuscript page, though, so we get to hear Alan speak sweet nothings into our ears once again. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. 
The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. Okay. Well, that's all that was in here, huh? Well, fine then. Alright, should we go to the room? No use crying in the dark place. What has been has called. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. Now, now we're go. supposed to go down. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Thanks. We still haven't gone here. Okay, so now we're supposed to go. So I did break sequence. Ugh. I'm gonna be annoyed if I don't get to watch what's on that um, projector that I found. Because... Hang on. Cynthia? I heard her. Ah! Ah! Oh wow, over there. Hi. Nice. Ow. You. Oh my god, he's split. Ow. Nice. Okay. Okay. Finally got these I guys. All of them. Yeah. Look at them, they're knives. Okay. Let's reload this. Okay. Ooh. We'll heal real quick. Thank you very much. You know, something I just realized. I haven't been using my, uh, my manuscript pages to upgrade my gun. <gasps> I've got an upgrade. Possibly. Let's do it on the rifle. We've got consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Kill shot. Stand still to enter an improved focus mode. This mode grants perfect accuracy. Pulls shots towards enemy weak points and deals increased damage. Too bad we're one short of that right now. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Ooh, we don't need to use the, um, the flashlight on them. You know what? Maybe we'll wait. We'll wait. All right. So now I've, now I've already been through here. Use a shotgun for close quarters here. And I've got the fuse, so we can just go straight to it. Yeah. Fuse. There. Power's back on. Now I wonder. No, it still won't let me. Look, you can you can do it again. You can interact with it again, but the projector screen still isn't down, and I can't interact with it. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of at a loss with this one. She said something looked like Alex Casey, and it sounded important. I don't know. Where are ya? Shit. Careful, Saga. Now, have I been to everywhere down here? Yeah, I have. Was she out here? Now, I can't help but notice Rose is gone. 
I wonder where she is. She with the old people on the front porch, or is she? She's taunting us a lot, but let's get in a fight in the overlap. See how cocky you are then. I'm gonna check on Odin. Okay, it's okay. Now I know we're supposed to go there, but no, we, we can't go this way. I guess we gotta go to Cynthia's room. Okay. Is this where the overlap is? Is it in the room? Uh. A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Yeah, sure. She was into it, I guess. Okay, we'll get to there in a second. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There's no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. So Cynthia is to Tom as uh, Rose is to Alan, I guess. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us, Tom and I forever. Found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom, but it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies, he was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly about also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it, he's too slow. But it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Of course, you're talking about Vladimir Blum, right? VB? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Come on. Come on, Saga. Piece it together. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? A power station. Everyone needs oh. a hobby, I guess. I remember the power station from the original Alan Wake. It's like all flying back to me. I hated that section of the game. Yeah, that was towards the end. The dam, the power station. I forgot. Yeah, that's like towards the end of it, isn't it? Pretty sure. For a very special woman. Towards a romantic, huh? T. Tor, Tom. Interesting. Let's do some profiling, I guess. Oh, I'm staying by the weapon upgrade. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Oh, you don't know who he is yet. Is he? Got it. Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Okay. So S Saga doesn't quite know Thomas Zane is, which is okay, because I barely know who he is. Um... Cynthia's fears made her vulnerable. That's how she became a Taken. Sorry, is there more? 
We still can't do that yet. I guess I maybe missed something for it to go to. All right, let's get the record. Oh, another manuscript page. There's Cynthia so many here. Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Hmm. No. Anger's remorse by old gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Ah. We'll fight you soon in the overlap. Buddy. Old buddy, old pal. Uh, here we go. Unread. There's an unread tab. Let's go. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Yes, yeah, she Cynthia said that. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor. Always poking people right. with his hammer. He had it coming. So Tor is for Tom. Tom's enemy? Where are you getting that from? Oh my god. Is there anything more embarrassing, by the way, than like tilting your head all the way back to get the last bit of soda out of a soda can? Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. It's like, ugh, what are you so desperate for it for, you know? I gotta get, I gotta get the last bit out! Okay, let's go to the jukebox. Now, I can't, I can't open this. Yeah, it's like, no, you can't do that. Ati won't let you. Okay, well... Fucking fine, then. I guess I'll go downstairs and play in the jukebox. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We got them really quickly with that. We did the explosive. We did uh, one shot with that, and then we did the flare. And then one shot with the shotgun. That's not bad. Enter the overlap in the pond. Here we go, guys. The this is it. The will show me the way. The poet and the muse. In the mirror, the Children of the Elder God. We got some new. We got some new radio records. What's going on out there? Driven rage and like a storm. The overlap is up. Oh, and the hubris Blood and Alright, let's rescue Tor from the overlap. Are we in like the basement area? Oh, gone too soon. Thank you. Bright Falls. The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. Nora Hesburgh. That's who they're talking about. Nora. Who went missing was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. Cause of death has been determined to be drowning. Isn't Logan about 15 years old? Nora was first reported missing by her parents. Don't say her parents' names, obviously. 
When they discovered their daughter had not come home the night before, the police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. Now, way of saying nothing. Um. Oh. Yeah, you know, I can, I can bring out the, yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> I like how, I like how the evil characters in these games are always like, <laughs> in the background. <laughs> what are you doing? How this isn't real. The drowned, the where the drowned lady. This place. The where the drowned lady. Is this a loop? Am I going in circles? Yeah. The only way to tell is to try to go backwards. Well, we can go backwards. Okay, so I guess we'll go somewhere else for now. Hmm. Yellow. That's how my grandpa used to answer the phone. Yellow. <laughs> One time I called him, I said like a different color. I was like, blue! And he was like, I was like, could you say yellow? Ha uh ha. -huh. He did not think that was very funny. So yeah, everybody out there is like, oh, he's making dad jokes now. He's a dad. I've been making dad jokes since I was a kid, okay? Because you know what? They used to just be called jokes. Um, all right. And here's another thing, Gen Z. You guys are wearing mom jeans, okay? You guys are dorks. That's all I want to hear. It. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't want to talk about the mom jean thing, but that's what you guys wear. You guys wear mom jeans. Mom jeans. It's like that SNL skit. Look up the SNL skit mom jeans. That's what you guys are wearing out there. Anyway. I feel better now. Pull this. I'm glad we're using this mechanic again because it's been in the game like twice up until now. Alright. Have we done it? I can't believe we've done this. Oh, flip. We gotta flip first. The wall uh, just disappeared. It's the like light did that? it's like Alan with the the thing. Um, that's not, it's not the clicker that he's using, is it? Cause she has the clicker. I don't know. Whatever, it's the same mechanic though, stealing the light. It's kind of cool that we get to see Saga doing it now, you know? Changing her surroundings. Oh, are we okay? Go into a different part? Closer. Destroy the only way. Are you okay, Alan? Gone too soon. Nora, is that Noran's real name? Not Logan. Oh, I forgot. You have to. Like the others. Oh. I need to reach the center. I'm telling you, Blooper Team's kicking themselves right now. Cynthia, she's here. I hope so, so I can shoot her. A dead end. 
Well, then we have to go back. Don't jump scare me. Hello. Cynthia, show yourself. Wasn't that like a creepy old lady in the sinking city that was named Weaver too? What am I thinking of? There's like a Weaver ritual. I remember that about the game. Oh, back here again. This game this game does have like sinking city commonalities sometimes. Like just little things here and there that remind me of the sinking city. I know people like panned that game. Or, or a lot of people did, but I, I thought it was like alright. I think it's it's pro the Sinking City is probably like it's probably the best Lovecraft game I've played since Why? Dark Corners of the Earth. And Dark Corners of the Earth, while it has tremendous highs, it also has some really glaring flaws. I wish they would re-release Dark Corners of the Earth on like GOG or something, because currently the Steam release like doesn't really work. Or like it works up to a point, but then there's like sometimes you get like a game crashing progress halting bug with it. Okay, I guess I'll take an arrow, whatever. Cause I tried to replay it a number of years ago, and you get up to like I think you get up to the fight with Dagon on the submarine, and then it's like the Steam version, at least, a lot of people have issues with that. It just kind of ends. Like, you, you literally can't progress unless you mod it. I think I had to mod it in order to make progress. Um, but that's, a, like, the two-thirds mark. Honestly, that's kind of after the, the game isn't... isn't as good anymore, so... Wait, am I supposed to go... Wait, sorry, I need to pay more attention. So there's a dead end here. Nora gone too soon, right? Uh, do I do anything here or it's just kind of a dead end, huh? I feel like in the overlap, it just kind of loops and then you, you run till you hit a dead end, then you turn around, which is some of my least favorite horror gameplay. I kind of hate this shit, to be honest. Are those the bolt cutters? Ah. The key has to be nearby. Those are the fucking bolt cutters. Oh my god, we have to get them. Is the key nearby? Yeah, can you hold your flashlight up, please? Saga. Batteries. Oh, come on, man. Flare. All right. We've got so much battery power. Wow. What's that? Oh my god, the tool cabinet key. Thank you. Now we can get the bolt cutters. So much loot. I mean, I don't think we really need all this, but thanks. She likes to hold her flashlight down by her feet. I can't see anything. Thank you. All right. Right. Um... Oh, okay, here we go. We get the bolt cutters, and then we go back. Okay, so tool cabinet key. Oh, yes. Yes. Now we can go anywhere we want to. Literally anywhere. Wait, wait, hang on. Go back. What does this place look like? Oh, you like you can't go in there. All right, my bad. Because I just realized I hadn't gone in there with the light off, but I had. 
because I go in there with the light off here and I turn it on. Okay. But now we gotta turn it off. Got her. What were you doing in here, huh? What were you doing in here, you silly goose? Huh? Anything for me to pick up? I know that I have to go back and, and do the little dark things there, but um, I gotta go do the little dark things. So I would look around. Okay. No, we're good. Alright. John's like he's being so thorough right now, but we all saw him miss those words of power. In the Allen sections. You're not fooling anybody, buddy. Hmm. Wait. Do I go down there? Or do I do this? Uh, I guess, I guess this is the way forward because we did all that to get the bolt cutters. So, oh, sorry, I clicked it. Okay. All right. Newspaper's gone this time. Back again. Yeah. Gotta go deeper. Yeah. Um. Can I have some of that? Thank you. Let me check out the ice chest. Oh wow. We're, we're hitting like max. I need another roll of my inventory. Here we go. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Well, yeah. Saga. It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's okay. trapped me at the bottom. Guess we gotta go out to get her. I gotta get out of the water. Oh, shit. Uh. Shit. Where'd she go? Oh, wow. Wait, I shot her though. When she was coming towards me, I shot her with a shotgun. Did that not, was that not enough? I know, dude, I know. Shit. Okay. Am I supposed to go out here? 
I don't know. I guess I'll come down. So you're just supposed to okay so there i don't think you can shoot her back on. i don't think you can shoot her and, and and do any permanent damage like that i think it's like when you see her coming towards you you better start booking it okay um in that case i don't know i guess Oh shit. I She does so much damage. But like I don't know I don't see how it's supposed to get I don't see how it's supposed to get over here. Maybe I do maybe it's a flare? Yeah, see she started she started moving. Okay, we got out. Thank you. I'm just like tanking the hits. I understand that. Okay. Is there like a map? No, of course not. Okay, the flare protects us. The flare protects us. Nice. Now, what is that? That doesn't really do anything for us. What the hell? Why would I drop back in? This seems like where you come back after you do something. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We start the generator. This is what we were looking for. Oh, come on. I'm trying to start generator. For like the second time this game. Okay, we've turned on the lights. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. Okay. There's nothing over there, right? Okay. There we go. Gotcha. With the flare. Thank you. There was suddenly there was stuff there. There we go. Now we defeat Cynthia. I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I fucked everything up. No, dude. You can dude. apologize to him yourself. That's right. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Okay, I am not sure where we go. Do we go? Do we go down here? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Underneath the water, so to speak. Huh? This is taking a while. Ooh. I thought I hit it. Heal? What? Oh no, I should have I should have dodged that. 
Okay. Got her, got her. She's going back in the water? Is that is that good or bad for us? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Ow! Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do we get her? I think we got her, we got her! Yeah! I kinda I kinda spammed the gun though there. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? We can finish this. Leave out the clicker. No, 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 you can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have right. to understand. Now are you getting it to him Did or you write Logan scratch into though? The story? Last in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Careful, you don't want anything to get lost in translation here. You can only story. hear like every third word. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no uh. right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Oh. Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Look, he's got a he's got a patch that says scratching hag on it. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, this was a this was a big one, wasn't it? Now, do me a favor, put me next to a thermos. Well, I guess we can talk to Tor for a second. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. Right. But not here. The okay. Nuts got ears. We can have our talk in your head. Oh. You have a room there, right? How do you know yes, about that? I do, I'm actually. your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Okay, so we can go profile him a little bit. That sounds good. Um. Now, oh, what was that? On the no. This can't be the right way. What? There's something on the ground. I just picked it up. Can't be the right way. Well, but I want to save. Oh, I, she's not gonna let me do it until I talk to him here. Okay, well, we'll just go a little while longer then. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You already know what he told me here too. Their heads, see the truth. 
She passed the lies. Passed this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. Uh, I mean, yeah. My mind plays is more than I thought it was. I mean, yeah. Like this is my intuition. Ever since like the first chapter, I was I'm like, seeing their thoughts. So you have powers. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot. Mm, I don't know about that. My grandfather. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Okay. Well, maybe you can tell me about your parents. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. Hmm. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. His name was Scratch Anderson. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. <laughs> there was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. <laughs> Is that why Damn. she left? Freya Gonna grill him. Never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. All right. Nice family tree uh, history there. Let's ask him about the clicker. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Okay, so we're back to square one. Because I feel like I feel like we were already there. Get the clicker to wake. I, I, I mean, am I wrong? I feel like we didn't really need that. Sometimes I feel like the stuff that happens in the mind place, we get through it and I'm like, right, so we're back where we thought we were. You know? Because Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. It's like, yes, obviously. Like, that's not go right. here? Where does this go? The clicker acts like an amplifier. Right, it goes there. 
Wake writes the story, the dark place makes it change reality, and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense? Area around an overflap is, al is always flooded. Uh, interesting. I hadn't noticed that, but you're right. Does the overlap cause the flooding? I entered the dark place by playing Torn Odin's song. Put that there. Oh. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark place's focus on art? A song about remorse, a float about murder, a poem about terror. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so where where am I putting this? How to stop okay, the story. Okay. Right. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Okay, now I've got these for later. Um I've got more of this. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous. Uh Oh, here we go. Yep. Tor and my father had problems. Our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Oh, oops. Here we go. My memories haven't changed like everyone else's. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Anger's remorse mentions the man I drove away. The way Tor okay. behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Okay. And lastly, the Anderson brothers. Case closed, actually. The overlap? Tor is here in the overlap. Oh, well, we already did that. Get the fuck out. Okay. All right. Oh, oops. All right. Well, let's do case closed here. Wake wrote Logan into the story. All right. He Why did no he do right that? To use her like this. One asshole. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Yeah, you get him. Go get him. <sighs> okay. There's still there's still some stuff here that like I don't think I can use yet. It's for later. Okay, so investigate the previously flooded area. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember. I mean, I don't know if you've seen your bro. Your daughter is alive. Oh. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Okay. Well, you know, may maybe... I, I thought the opposite. Me, I'll drag my sorry ass over the yeah, I was about to say, I don't know if you've seen your bro, but he's not exactly... Oh. He's not exactly uh, in rock and shape, we'll say. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. Right. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. Well, we'll they here's have what Wake we're gonna do. I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Here's what we want to do, though. We want to Casey. investigate the previously. Do you read me, area. Casey? Where's Damn Alex it. Casey? Where that, are you, Casey? You know that's. You better be okay. That's something to think Focus, about. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To wake. Because we don't really know where he is. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Wow, we started the video here and we're going to end the video here. So here's my plan. Okay. We're going to, um. It annoys me that it still says points of interest there, but. Oh, well. We're going to uh, explore the previously flooded area. Now that I have the bolt cutters, I might do a little bit of digging around, okay? But I'll try to keep it short, brief. In and out. In and out job. With those bolt cutters. And, uh, and then... We might do a little bit of Alan's story next, because it's been a while since we've played as him. And I want to check out what he's been up to as well. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Hope you guys are still hanging in there. I know I'm taking a long time playing the game.
But hopefully it's been all right. I'm, I'm recording this so far ahead. I haven't seen your pieces of feedback yet. On the previous times, I've been like, sorry, I'm taking so long. I'm exploring. Uh, but I assume y'all are cool with it. If not, well. So, yeah. All right. See you guys later. Think quickly.